Hi all, today we start discussing the second last session of module 2, uh, section 14.7, extreme values uh, and uh, saddle points. Uh, this, uh, uh, in, in the section, in the module 1, we have discussed how, uh, uh, how to find the maximum, local, maximum, local, minimum and a point of inflection of a, a function with one variable x, say f of x. Uh, this session is analogous to that one. In this session, we will discuss the extreme values of uh, functions uh, from uh, uh, r cross r to r, that is the function with two independent variables, say f of x, y. So, uh, we are con in this section, we are considering uh, the functions of the form z is equal to uh, f of x, y. Okay. So, uh, this f is a function from r cos r to r, then the domain of this function is, uh, in, in, uh, now onwards the domain of this function is uh, r cross r or any subset of r cross r. So, uh, we, we will discuss this, uh, the extreme values of this f of x, y, uh, say local maximum of f of x, y, local minimum of f of x, y, and uh, we will consider the saddle points rather than uh, a point of inflections uh, or we can say that the saddle point is analogous to the point of inflection in one variable. So we will uh, define all this uh, using the partial derivatives. So you can consider this section as a uh, application of uh, partial derivatives. So using uh, in the first uh, session we will discuss, uh, in the first part of the session we will discuss the uh, definitions of uh, uh, this local maximum, local minimum and saddle points and after that we will do the problems of that, how to find those uh, local maximum and local minimum uh, and saddle points of uh, f of x, y and uh, what are the uh, local maximum value of that function. And now begin with uh, this definition, uh, let f of x, y is a, a, a function uh, defined on a region r, this r is the uh, region which is the a subset of r cross r or you can consider this r as the uh, subset of x y plane okay so if you are considering a uh, function like uh, 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 x y z uh, x y z space then if you consider a subset here okay so this is what we call the uh, r okay? any subset of this r can be this r cross r cross r itself or x y plane and replace it by x y plane. So if this r is a domain of this f of x y, uh, then uh, uh, suppose r contains a point a b. f of a b is a point of local maximum. So this is what we call the exact exact name is point of local maximum. Uh, so, sorry, this a b is point of local maximum, and f of a b is called the local maximum value. Okay. So f of a b is said to be local maximum value of f. If f of a b greater than or equal to f of x y for all domain points x y in an open disk centered at a b. Okay, so that means if you are considering a function like this, uh, suppose we have a uh, function like this. we have uh, a domain here, I'll write a domain here, uh, this is our xyz plane, xyz uh, space, then I'll write this is the uh, z axis and this is our x axis and this is y axis. Uh, if you consider a, a domain like this, I consider a domain, this is a domain, uh, this is a subset of xy plane, okay, so this is the subset of xy plane, so I, I consider this as our r and each of these points xy, we define a value is it okay so is, so that defines a function is it equal to xy and uh, this is the point this is the point where we denote uh, x comma y comma f of xy that is it so this is the uh, 
surface of that function or you can consider uh, instead of graph you can consider surface in this case so this is the uh, domain and this is the uh, surface of that function then uh, if a point uh, if you take a, if you have any point here a b uh, you have an image here so a, a, f of a b is said to be maximum suppose you have a b here uh, this is a b uh, then we can consider a uh, uh, a, a point on the surface a comma b comma f of a b uh, this f of a b is said to be the maximum value of this function you need to uh, consider a disk about this a b about this point uh, and we consider any x y in this domain any x y in this disk you have f of x y should be less than or equal to f of a b then you can consider this is the local maximum for this function okay so uh, in order to get the local maximum at a b you consider a, a, you the right there should exist at least one neighborhood at which this f of a b dominates okay that means uh, uh, in that disk about a b that means a disk with the center a b uh, then for any x y belongs to that disk you have f of a b should be greater than or equal to f of x y okay then you can say that this f of a b is the local maximum okay similarly uh, uh, if f of a b uh, is less than or equal to f of x y uh, for all x y uh, belongs to some disk about this a b i call it as b of a b then you can say that this f of a b is the local minimum that is the that is the two definitions here local maximum value of f and lo local minimum value of f okay f of a b is local maximum value uh, f of a b is local minimum value in this definition and a b is called the point a b is called point of local maximum or local minimum local maximum or local minimum if uh, AB has this property, uh, the, the, any neighborhood uh, or any disk at AB, uh, you can find some x naught, y naught, uh, such that uh, f of x naught, y naught is less than, uh, strictly less than uh, f of AB, and there, sh there should exist another point x1, y1, at which this f of x1, y1, uh, f of x1, y1 is greater than f of AB, then uh, if this is true for any uh, disk about AB, then you can say that uh, this f of AB is neither local maximum nor local minimum. Okay, so in order to get the max local uh, maximum or local minimum, you need to get at least one neighborhood. Okay, there should exist a neighborhood, uh, or neighborhood means open disk, uh, open disk centered at AB such that. Uh, f of x y is greater than or uh, less than or equal to f of a b uh, for uh, to get this f of a b as local maximum. If there should uh, if you consider any neighborhood of uh, that uh, a b if this is uh, a b and consider any neighborhood and suppose we have uh, two points uh, for every neighborhood contains at, at least two points uh, say x naught y naught uh, x one y one. Uh, for which this for this point we have f of x naught y naught is less than f of a b and at this point f of x y we have f of x one y one is greater than f of a b in this case you can say that this a b is neither maximum nor minimum okay so this is the uh, this is the uh, this is to understand the uh, local maximum and local minimum of a two variable function instead of one variable function and now we have a theorem you are uh, no, uh, uh, need not bother about the uh, proof of this theorem you, you just uh, understand this theorem uh, in order to apply the uh, pro uh, uh, problems if f of x y has a local maximum or local minima minimum value at every point at interior point a b of its domain and if the first partial pa first partial derivatives that means uh, partial derivative of f with respect to x and partial derivative of f with respect to y at the point of maxima or at the point of minima uh, will be zero okay 
so this is the definition if f has maximum local maximum at a b okay or f of a b is maximum value in this case you can easily uh, infer that uh, this derivative of uh, this function f partial derivative of f with respect to x at the point a comma b when you evaluate this partial derivative with respect to x at the point f uh, at the point a b and partial derivative of y with respect to uh, f with respect to y at the point a b these two quantities will be zero this is what we this theorem tells okay this f of x y is a local maxima or local minima then the partial derivative should be zero at that point this is the uh, theorem done uh, we will uh, use this theorem uh, to evaluate uh, the local maxima and local minima uh, now we define a critical point uh, an integral point uh, of the domain of a function f of x y where both f x and f y that is partial derivative of f with respect to x and partial derivative of f with respect to y are zero or one or both of f of x f of f x and f y do not exist okay uh, in, in case of uh, one variable function we have this uh, uh, defined the partial uh, defined the critical points as uh, the critical points are obtained by uh, equating f dash x equal to zero and f dash uh, does not exist these are uh, this will characterize uh, uh, the uh, or classify the critical points of one variable function the similar manner we will uh, uh, define the critical points of f of x y the critical point of f of x y uh, uh, can be classified with uh, f x equal to f y equal to 0 or uh, f x or f y do not exist does not exist and or fx and fy do not exist okay these are this characterize the uh, or this classify the critical points of f of x y so in order to get the critical points either you uh, first you need to eva evaluate or equate f of x y f of fx equal to fy equal to zero that means both the partial derivative should be zero and uh, one of them does not exist okay that is the uh, or both or both do not exist or one of them does not exist so these are the uh, classification or analogous uh, discussion uh, uh, of this uh, extreme values in uh, uh, of a function of two variables okay so this is the definition of critical points here now you can define saddle points Okay, one uh, once you got the cr uh, critical points, that means whenever you have f x equal to uh, zero uh, and f y equal to zero, or uh, any of these uh, uh, result holds, then we can say that x y is a critical point. If x y is a critical point, x y is a critical point, and uh, if you are not able to uh, Again, these points as extreme points. That means uh, x y uh, is not local maximum, and x y is not local minimum as well. Local minimum. Uh, that means x y is neither maximum nor ma uh, nor minimum, but it is a critical point. In this case, we call this point as saddle point. Okay, uh, this is analogous to the point of inflection in one variable. Uh, whenever uh, x is x equal to a is a critical point, uh, and uh, we can say that x equal to uh, this f dash uh, is uh, uh, in order to uh, not f dash. This uh, uh, x equal to a is not maximum, and uh, it is not minimum. It is not minimum as well. Then we will call this excess point of inflection in in this case for uh, one variable case. Uh, uh, likewise, we can uh, get a situation like this if f x if x y is a critical point, but this x y is neither maximum nor minimum. Then that x y is called saddle point. So that is the definition of uh, saddle point here. Uh, 
uh, a differentiable function fxy has a saddle point at a critical point okay if in every open disk centered at ab there are domain points xy were fxy greater than f of ab and domain points xy were fxy less than f of ab that means this ab f of ab is neither local maximum uh, nor local minimum that is the meaning of this statement then the corresponding point ab f of ab the point uh, ab f of ab on the surface is called uh, the saddle point of the surface or or this uh, function uh, or this point ab is called the saddle point of this uh, f okay so uh, or we, we can say that f has a saddle point at the point uh, at the uh, point of the domain uh, uh, point ab of the domain okay so now we can discuss the uh, problems of this so uh, example one is an illustrative example uh, the domain of f is the entire plane so xy plane is the domain here and f of xy is uh, x square plus y square uh, first we will find the critical points the critical points uh, are obtained since this is a pole domain is always differentiable then critical points are obtained by uh, finding fx and fy fx is 2x that is a partial derivative of this expression with respect to x and uh, partial derivative of uh, f with respect to y that is 2y so we are by equating 2x equal to 0 and 2y equal to 0 you can get xy equal to 0 x comma y is equal to 0 0 this is the only possible critical point okay so uh, since this f is, uh, f is never uh, uh, from this you can say that uh, this is always greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 because this is always positive quantities where x square and y square so we can say that the, at the point uh, x, xy equal to 0 0 uh, the value of this f of xy is 0 0 then uh, uh, we can say that this quantity is always uh, zero, uh, greater than or equal to 0 which is equal to f of 0 0 so this 0 0 is a critical point and f of 0 0 is always less than or equal to f of xy then this f of 0 is called uh, local max, local minimum value. So, this is the, an example of local minimum value of this function. So now, we can consider example 2. This is an, uh, this is an illustrative example for saddle points. Uh, the f of x, y is this uh, f of x, y equal to x, y square minus x square. Uh, now fx and fy will give the same point uh, if fx since this fx equal to minus 2x and fy is uh, e equal to uh, this 2y then you can get the only critical point is xy equal to 0 0 uh, but then this uh, uh, 0, 0 0 is a critical point then uh, if you consider a, a point in the uh, x, uh, a positive x axis then uh, 1 comma 0 if you choose uh, a, 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 a point uh, if you consider any uh, open disk at 0 0 if uh, this is our uh, point 0 0 and if you have any disk then you can easily find a uh, point uh, at the positive uh, real axis uh, and that point lie in this lies in this disk then if you choose any 1 by n like this uh, you can uh, take this one way in uh, very close to the zero that means any disk you can uh, find such positive number if you consider a positive real number from any disk uh, of zero then the value uh, i'll take this a comma zero uh, or x naught comma zero then that value f of x naught comma zero that is equal to minus x naught square that is always less than zero uh, but uh, this uh, zero is nothing but f of zero zero and if you have uh, uh, a point like this uh, 0 y naught from this disk okay any 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 uh, 0 comma y naught from this disk you can get uh, f of 0 comma y naught that is equal to y naught square that is always greater than 0 which is equal to f of 0 0 so this shows that um, if 0 0 is a critical point but any uh, open disk uh, uh, about 0 0 contains at least two points uh, x naught 0 and 0 y naught uh, uh, at this point uh, this uh, the functional value is less than f of 0 0 at this point the functional value is greater than uh, 
0 0 then we can say that this critical point is neither uh, local maximum lo nor local minimum a point of local minimum then this point is defined as the saddle point so 0 0 we define uh, 0 0 uh, comma uh, f of 0 0 uh, on the surface you can consider this point on the surface uh, is a saddle point of the surface saddle point of the surface or uh, you can consider this 0 0 as a saddle point for this f that is also a terminology for saying that this 0 0 is a uh, saddle point of the uh, function okay so this uh, explains uh, in example 2 so these are two illustrative examples for local ma local uh, maximum or minimum or local extreme uh, extreme value and the saddle point in next class we will discuss uh, the second derivative test for uh, local maximum and local minima and goes to the uh, one variable function so in that we will uh, use the second uh, partial derivatives to uh, track the local maximum local minimum uh, and saddle points